Hello, so today's topic is logarithmic differentiation. Let's get started. Um, the idea behind logarithmic differentiation is when something looks extremely ugly and it has exponents and they're telling you to take a derivative of it, um, this is usually a useful trick that lets you get away with get away without do, uh, with answering the question without doing too much work, which is what, as a good aspiring mathematician, you should always be wanting to do. Um, so, so let's go over what is actually happening when you're doing logarithmic differentiation. So suppose we have a function f of x. So our function that we want to take the derivative of is going to be f of x. So let's Let's see what happens. I shouldn't be writing this when we do d by dx of ln of f of x. Okay, so what's happening here? Um, first of all, we need to know that we should be doing the chain rule. So the inside function for the chain rule is f of x, and the outside function for the chain rule is ln of x. So if we remember, the chain rule is if you had, um, so if you wanted to take d by dx of f of h of x, for example, is that too many parentheses? I think that's fine. Then you would take the derivative of the outside function applied to h of x multiplied by the derivative of the inside function. And here I'm using uh, d by dx and then prime is just two ways of writing out uh, the derivative. So we have to go back to this up here. Um, what is what is the inside function again? So it's f of x, the outside function is ln of x. So it's reasonable to ask what is, um, so what is d by dx of ln of x? Okay, this one you should know by heart. It's just 1 over x. And what is um, d by dx of f of x? in our case the inside function, well we're just going to call that f prime of x. Okay, so moving down, so seeing now that we had to take d by dx of ln of f of x, so this thing over here, so our, our answer is going to be the outside, the derivative of the outside function, in, in this case the outside function is ln of x, so it's going to be 1 over x but we have to plug in the inside function, h of x. Um, in this case, it's f of x. So <laughs> d by dx of ln of f of x is going to be equal to 1 over f of x multiplied by f prime of x, or just f prime of x over f of x. Now this is cool because taking the derivative of ln of a function gives you the derivative of that function divided by f of x. Okay, So if you wanted to get the derivative, if you want to isolate for f prime of x, well then f prime of x is equal to, if we take this thing here and bring it up multiply it over here, we get f of x times d by dx ln of f of x. So the derivative of ln of f of x times f of x is equal to the derivative of f of x. So this is the sort of general result that we're going to use to solve complicated derivatives. So, so yeah, so 
when would we use this result? We would use this result when taking the derivative of ln of the function makes our life way much easier. So suppose someone tells you to give, uh, I want you to uh, do the derivative of this, and this happens to be extremely complicated. And you tell them, and but now what you can do is go, well, instead of do taking the derivative of what you've just asked me to take the derivative of, I'm going to take ln of it, then take the derivative, then multiply by that function, and I'm going to be done. So let's look at an example now. Um, So what could be ugly? Well, we can do, um, so one example, find f prime of x, where um, f of x is, and let's do a um, sine of x um, to the power of x, okay? This is an ugly looking beast. So first thing you do when you look at this is you start to cry and you start to wonder what you're going to do in life and your aspirations of becoming a doctor or a mathematician are all down the drain because it's impossible to solve but no it's not and we're going to use logarithmic uh, differentiation to uh, ease all those uh, fears so this is how we're going to do it um, if I can erase that scribble I just did. Perfect. So we remember that, so put up here in the little box here, that f prime of x is equal to f of x times d by dx of ln of f of x. Oop. Okay, so that's our, that, that's our like trick. That's our, that's it's in our, our magic, magic trick. Where we're just, you know, pull a rabbit out of a hat here. And so let's consider taking d by dx of ln of sine of x to the x. Now, properties of logarithms. When you logarithms, um, oh, that x belongs inside. So there's actually ln of sine of x to the x. Okay, so ln of something to the power. Everyone knows who has been studying their logarithmic rules that that's equal to d by dx of x times ln of sine of x. So now suddenly it doesn't look that bad. Right? So, and what is that, uh, you know, if we apply the, um, so the next thing we have to do is notice that there is uh, a product here of two things, that we have to take a derivative where there's a product, so we're going to use the product rule. So we're going to say that it's d by dx of x times ln of sine of x um, plus d by dx of ln of sine of x uh, times x. Okay, so that's the product rule. And that is going to give us d by dx of x is 1 times ln of sine of x plus d by dx of ln of sine of x. Well, here you'd use the chain rule. And again, um, the derivative of the chain rule, uh, sorry, the derivative, the chain rule gives you that it's the derivative of the outside, so that's 1 over x, the derivative of the long part, so the outside is 1 over x, so it'll be 1 over sine x, okay, times the derivative of the inside part, which is uh, sine x, so the derivative of sine x is cosine of x, um, and then all that times x, okay? So now we're left with um, ln of sine of x plus x times cosine of, whoa, I don't want to do that, don't, what, what did I just do? Cosine of x divided by 
sine of x. Okay. And that, what we have here, is the derivative of ln of that thing up there. So the derivative of ln of the beast that we are being asked to take the derivative of is this. And so all we have to do to get our answer is to take what this is and multiply by what f of x was. So d by dx of sine x to the x is going to be our f of x, which is this guy right here, sine x to the x, multiplied by this big beast right here, ln of sine x plus x times, and then we'll be fancy and call this cotangent of x. And then that's long and ugly, but that's okay because the derivative was long and ugly, but nothing that we did here required a significant amount of work that was, you know, all that hard. So we can do another example. Um, so, so let's do another example. Um, I'm just making them up as I go along here. So why don't we do B. Um, so find f prime of x, where f of x is equal to, and what could we put here? Um, x plus x squared plus 3 to the uh, 6x. Okay, let's just do this one. So, Again, we're going to use our logarithmic differentiation trick. Why? Because like when you have x here and then you have another power of x here, stuff gets all complicated and looks scary. So when you have exponents that complicate things, usually logar logarithmic differentiation is the key, is the golden ticket. So um, here we go. So ln of, so we're going to take d dx of ln of x squared plus 3 all to the 6x and we're going to use again that fancy uh, that fancy rule that says that we can bring down powers so that's equal to d dx of 6x times ln of x squared plus three. Okay, so again we're uh, faced with a product rule situation where we have, uh, you know, this is the first part of the product and this is the second part. So we're going to say that that's going to be d by dx of 6x uh, times ln of x squared plus three plus 6x times d by dx of x squared plus 3. And that's going to give us 6 plus, okay, so when you take the derivative of a logarithm, uh, a log logarithm you do, um, so you're going to, did I do that right before? Yeah, so you're going to take the derivative of the inside the, sorry, the outside, the logarithmic part, so that's 1 over x, and plug in what's inside, so that's 1 over x squared plus 3, and we're going to multiply by the derivative of the inside part, um, which is going to be um, uh, 2x, okay? So that's, that's the derivative of the inside part over here. Um, and that's actually not a plus, it's a times. Then we're going to add to that 6x times um, uh, derivative of this is just going to be 2x. So again, this whole thing is looking a lot simpler. We have uh, 6 times 2 is 12. 12x divided by x squared plus 3 
plus 12x squared. And that, as we remember, is the derivative of the log of the function we needed. So to be able to answer the question that we were, was asked of us, which was find the derivative of ln of uh, x squared plus 3 to the 6x, we need to just take this and do almost nothing, just multiply by this. So uh, d by dx of um, x squared plus 3 to the 6x is equal to um, x squared plus 3 to the 6x times 12x over x squared plus 3 plus 12x squared. All done. So, I mean, as you can see, the whole idea here is just that you are going to make use of the fact that logarithms make exponents come down. And so if you can't do a derivative because the exponent is messing things up, and, but you can if you uh, take that derivative down, then the whole, author, the whole trick that we did with that proof that we showed earlier showed that you can just take the logarithm, make your life easy, and then multiply by f of x at the end. So that will uh, pretty much conclude this. So have a nice day. Goodbye.